What's going on everyone? Welcome to Retro Basement Gaming and Anime. Today I'm going to unbox Fairy Tale. So, and not just well, I'm not gonna unbox this. I decided not to. This is just the standard game, the UK edition. I got this like maybe a few days ago now, and it comes with let me show you, like right here, if you can see that. I'm a huge fairy tale fan, but this is the fairy tale guild edition. It comes with the full game, special sticker set, 3D character cards, three designs, sorcerer magazine, special issue game release edition an original illustration b2 poster this was a hundred bucks and um it's probably not worth that you have to be a huge fan to buy this to be honest with you but it was a hundred bucks it's for the switch see hybrid system but yeah i'm not gonna open this one it's just i thought about opening it a few days ago just to play the game early but i was like no since i have i ordered these so let's unbox both I wish they had like a save thing in between the Switch and in between the PS, you know, 4, but whatever. Let's do the Switch first. It's probably going to be the one I play the most since I'm always gone or busy with work or on the road, you know, things like that. But um, let's see here. I'm a huge fairy tale fan. I remember when I got um, one of the mangas in Japan and my Japanese is not good enough to read it, but I was studying Japanese and I thought I was going to continue and get better, but I haven't over the years oh, that's weird let's see has a little uh imperfection in the artwork but it's not a big deal let's put this over here and oh okay how oh, that's cool they have um artwork on the inside what's this make sure i don't have any special codes that people can hijack from me before i show you this okay not a Anyway, I like this. It's pretty cool. Look at that. Um, then it talks about the uh, the Blu-ray slash DVD when the next one comes out. And I think this is this is on um, part 23. Not Sue. I guess this is when they start the whole when it starts winding down in the series. Then um, this is how they did the manual. You get a uh, QR code or whatever they call whatever they call them nowadays. Then, um, right here well, it's interesting that they do manuals that way but okay so this is the switch version virgin version <laughs> can't talk today but um there you go so let's go for the ps4 i feel that the price for this should have been around 40 bucks and i wish they would have dubbed it and the other problem that i'm hearing is that the story doesn't start at the beginning which is weird since Dragon Ball and Naruto it's stories that start at the beginning. Even the most obscure of games in regards to anime sometimes get the story starting all the way at the beginning. Like, um, Berserks was another good anime based game and this is pretty much similar to the Switch game except it's bigger. <laughs> um, nothing special here. Oh, you don't even get the, do you get, oh, the manual QR code is down here instead of being where it was on the Switch one. That's interesting. Then um, you get the same artwork and, of course, the disc itself, the same artwork. For anybody who's going to buy the PS4 version or do what I did, buy the PS4 Switch version and the Guild version if you're a massive fan. I'm wondering how this game is going to do in sales, but who knows. Anyway, this is the fairy tale unboxing. Oh, I did order, order a fairy tale Funko Pop too, which is kind of funny. That's for my other channel, though. It's not too. But anyway, you guys are awesome. Thanks for watching the channel. And yeah, this is the the whole fairy tale thing. Um, I just felt no need to unbox the guild version. Um, but here we go. All of these, man. Kind of crazy. Got to be a massive fan to go all out like this. But yeah. Fairy Tales a silly show. I know some people probably think it's the dumbest show in the world, but I, I found it funny, especially during the first few seasons. I mean, it, it really was a um, pretty fun show. Silly about friendship and everything else. I, but um, it did get a little weird towards all the other seasons. But um, I think they did a pretty decent job finishing it off, and I'm hoping we get the 
what is it, a 100 year blood war? One, no, that's bleach. Can't wait till that come out next year if it doesn't get postponed with everything going on. But um, the fairy tale, the other um, arc, I hope that gets an uh, adaptation. I, I forget what it is. What is it? And that's sad. And I'm a fan. I can't remember. I have all this bleach stuff sitting up over here and I don't remember what it is. But remind me in the comment section below what it is or maybe I just look it up. But yeah. Anyway, did you purchase the fairy tale game? If so, what are you thinking in regards to it right now? From what I've seen, to me, it looks like a 7 or 8-ish. Um, I haven't looked at the Metacritic score yet or any of the other like IGN or major websites. Because what I've seen, it's an RPG, and I think that's cool. Normally, we just get fighting games, and I thought, this is pretty cool. I, actually, this game was delayed, too. It's supposed to come out so sooner than this, and they delayed it. So, hopefully, at the official release date, um, they have some good patches for us to, you know, better, you know, do what they need to do to make the game better. But uh, from what I've seen, it looks like a solid 7 to 8, in my opinion. But some people have been critical in regards to where the story starts and also um what was the other thing some of the graphics because the graphics they put a lot of work into the character models but not as much into the end game models but that's not a big deal i mean um and what else the other thing oh that is in japanese some people complain that things are not in japanese i was surprised when people said well they should have dubbed it and i'm like <laughs> seriously you guys complain even though you don't speak japanese and you say that oh nihongo or japanese is better than the english dub because the english dubs are just lame and but you don't speak japanese so how can you really tell nonetheless let me know what you think of the game if you're playing it right now later and check out my screams on twitch and if you want to check out my patreon thanks guys i appreciate it for sticking in there with me it's nice to see you again i know i've been going forever so that's why this video is a little bit more longer than what it needs to be but anyway stick in there with me more content coming later peace and love Adios.